close and personal, we're going to meet explosives enthusiast Edgar Montrose, get a chance to look at the man behind the powder burns. Uh, <laughs> Edgar, maybe you could take us back to the beginning when you were growing up as a kid. Oh, yeah, well, Red, my father was an accountant and my mom was a librarian. It was a very quiet house. <laughs> up until my seventh birthday. That's when I got the chemistry set. Uh, so, so was it a large house, Edgar? Well, it got a little smaller that day. So you started experimenting with explosives at a very early age. I would say so. I kind of lost track of time there. Uh, I'd blow something up that it might take a while before I regain consciousness. But I got right back at it. I was curious to know where things go when they explode. And where do they go? A long way. <laughs> Once I filled my bicycle handlebars with dynamite, when I set that off, it blew my horn halfway to Port Asbestos. You know, you can, you can get hurt having that kind of fun, Edgar. Oh, I didn't do it for fun, Red. It was educational. <laughs> uh, I learned a lot. <laughs> for example, I learned that an explosive is very strong. <laughs> Stronger than, say, uh, a finger. Oh. <laughs> Boy. That, uh, that, 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 that must have been painful. Oh, yeah. yeah. They said they might have been able to reattach the finger after the explosion, but it took too long to come down. You know, personally, I would never mess around with dynamite. That's because you have no idea what you're doing, Red. <laughs> I'm an artist. When somebody wants their house moved, I can lift that unit right off the foundation, stand it up on one corner while the plumbing drains, and then lay it sideways on a flatbed truck. And I'll tell you, you haven't seen beauty until you've seen a 60-foot maple tree bouncing end over end through a Canadian sunset. All right, all right, all right just a second. We don't, we don't want to be sending out the wrong message here, so... To wrap it up, why don't you look right into the camera and give a little bit of advice to any of the youngsters that are watching this. All right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that was a little insincere, I think, don't you? Okay. <clears throat> don't fool around with any type of explosives. You need lots of training to work with explosives. And you need a special permit that you can only get by passing a rigorous government test. And yeah, why don't you show them what that permit looks like? Thank <laughs> you.